Welcome into the channel. I hope you're having a good day. You guys, I'm going to clear the board here and then we're going to get started on whoever you are, um, viewer. And we're going to take a look at your current and your future energy. See what you need to work, is, work on, work, is, work on <laughs> or focus on. Okay. Um, there's also the energy of you maybe not being sure, okay? I feel like trust the unknown. You could be unsure at this time of what's going on going forward or there's this mystery here. Scorpio energy, star boy. Go watch the Scorpio reading because it's probably going to resonate with you, okay? Um, let's take a look at you. Let's see what you're looking like right now, okay? What your focus could be on, what it should be on or something like that. Let's see what we need to see from our viewer. So, real and true, okay? Real and true. It's a song. You guys look it up. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't write who this was by. Um, real and true. Mm. Oh, I do. Miley Cyrus and future. Okay. Um, real and true. There's a judgment card energy here. Sources like unleash your power already. Okay. Unleash your power already. Radical self-love. We can only receive love to the intent. Nope. To the extent that we unconditionally love and live the truth of ourselves, okay? And judgment is here. So sources like unleash your power. I don't know if you've been holding something in. If you haven't wanted nobody to know like that you can do this or you can manifest this. Or maybe you don't even know that you can manifest this lantern at the bottom of the deck. But sources like it's, it's time. Bring them out. Bring them out. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Take it as a resonance. All right, key of life wanting to show through there. All right, abundance of solstice wanting to show through, but it's like the requirement is expansion. The requirement is you knowing that it is safe enough um, to come out and play. Okay, Siders or is it Rough Riders? Either way, come out and play. Take it as it resonates. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but you are about to become weightless divine sisterhood community of spiritual sisters and brothers of the light okay i feel like this is what's going to happen next okay you're about to become weightless okay um there's a need for you to take some sort of calculated risk or action here okay so that they can uh expand this weightlessnessness or activate the weightlessnessness in, in your being or in your soul or in your your aura in your environment do you believe in love after love? Okay, life after love, love after love. I don't know. I can feel something inside me say, I really don't think you're strong enough. Okay, somebody might have thought you were strong enough, Libra. And you'll be like, man, you're like, man, let me show you something. Let me show you my footwork. Okay, let me show you something. You thought, okay. A Sagittarius could be significant in your reading because Sagittarius also came out, but I only needed one card, so we put that back and Sag will have to wait. Scorpio, I told you Starboy was significant, all right. <sighs> what does that lantern card say? Consciousness is light. Unleash your, unleash your power. Okay, I'm also hearing, remember who you are, okay? Um, the other song that popped in my head, it was three of them. They popped in this order. Queen Conga Go Gorilla, okay? That's by Lysky and Keisha. And the second was, do you believe in love after love or life after love, however it goes? And then all the smoke, okay? So you could be going Queen Kong, okay? Queen Kong, I go gorilla. You could be going gorilla, actually. You could even be going ape shit, Beyonce. I don't know. We got compassion here, okay? Um, as your first card coming out, compassion. I feel like you're going off with the love. And you want all the smoke. You're like, look, love needs to be in the air. Okay? All right? Love. Fill the air with love the way you fill your lungs with smoke. I'm just saying, for you smokers out there, all right? I smoke. I'm just saying. You could be lighting you a blunt right now. Okay? I'm just saying. Communication, though. All right? Uh, it's time. Speak about it. Be about it. Walk the talk. Walk the walk. Make your actions match your words. Your words match your actions. Something like that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Too many cards. Hold up. Give it to. Give me one. One more. Una más. One more, please, spirit. One more for my Libra. Thank you. Alchemy. Okay, we're gonna take that integration. Um, also coming out, but we're gonna take alchemy. We're gonna put the rest of them there up. So this is some current energy. 
Um, oh, your communication. The words you speak, you showing a lot of love. Okay. I feel like you're even loving on your enemies because I'm drawn to this center of this card. And it's giving me the energy of the evil eye. Somebody could be trying to give you the evil eye. Okay. Um, maybe they don't want you. They don't want people to love you. They don't want people to support you. Okay. Something like that. But it's like, what? Let me show you my footwork. Whatever they're trying to do to block you or stop you, your light, that green that shines around it, um, is much more bigger than the evil eye they're trying to send you away. Okay. Give me three more cards, please, for Libra. Future energy for Libra. Okay, be bold. Be bodacious. Be gentle. Be kind. There's an the energy of two doves. Okay. Oh, fifth dimensional access. I said two doves, but um, well, I have two doves written. But there's two parrots here. Okay, so watch your words at this time. Be mindful. Lightning boy. Scorpio energy. Star boy. I'm a motherfucking star boy. Okay, someone could be mad and they could have like tried to talk crap or speak out against you, um, mock you in some type of way. And you're like, yeah, right. But telepathy, they also could have been trying to communicate with you, um, give you messages. Okay, crystalline grids. Your energy has crystallized though so it's like none of that is touching you let me tell you what sign you're also going to be resonating with another sign here whose energy crystallized one moment somebody could have been trying to get you in the worst mood but it didn't work hold on Here it is. Yeah, it's Scorpio. Dang, heavy Scorpio. Transformation and change in your energy, Libra. Okay, as something is for you being balanced out, there's a lot of transformation that's happening. Okay, Moreau. We're not going to read that right now. But we're going to go ahead and go into the next. Okay, we got Ace of Pentacles energy. I feel you. New beginnings, new opportunities, new favor. Okay, Ace of Wands. Okay, talk to me again. Talk to me again. The Magician. I I feel like Source is doing this. Ace of Wands, okay? Let's see what comes out. Compassion, what's going on? Seven of Wands falling on Scorpio. So these changes are recurring because you are a man or a woman of valor, okay? You've been really standing in your power. You've been staying true and being in your power. There's that magician energy. It came right back out, okay? So Source is about to show you some love. Uh, but Source wants you to show yourself love. Expand or unleash your power. In expanding or unleashing this radical self-love, um, I feel like into the world, somehow you i'm um, example energy like you're being an example communication clarify communication let's get another one you're being an example okay of um how to resonate i'm here four pentacles power so yeah you're very powerful Others are going to be connecting with you or trying to connect with you because they want to become an extension of you with the full card, alchemy, okay? Some people could be doing some magic to try to become like you. Like, this is a little bit gross, okay? A little, a little scary. Telepathy with communication, though. I mean, eight wands falling on telepathy. I feel like you've learned how to extend your chi to where it clears the airways of communication so that you are making sure you are connecting with divine source and not an energy that's trying to come into your aura and play with you crystalline grids please thank you source is going to be revealing this way to you okay um there is a yeah yeah six of pentacles here success okay six pentacles that's justice this is you my eye energy so basically what's at the bottom of the deck yeah the tower and that eye i see that eye y'all see that eye in that tower huh Ooh. okay that's the energy of Ra. okay the sun 
the I, horse. Okay, this is horse energy. So, because it's the sun, the I that's connected to the sun. One of the eyes is connected to the moon, and one's connected to the sun. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, they're telling me to look this up so I can be correct. 303 on the clock. Let's see which eye connects to the sun. Is it the left or the right eye? Either way, you have this energy in your possession. Oh. So you see all the games. You see all their tricks, Libra. They didn't know you were the judge. You see it all. You're the record keeper. You already know what happens before it's going to happen, when it happens, as it's happening. You're very, very divinely awoken. Very, very awoken. Very connected to your inner enlightenment, the enlightened gut. Very connected to uh, the core root of spirituality, the essence, the energy, the divine itself. You have a very strong connection to source, Libra. I'm hearing and the Mayat. Okay, confirmation with that. Oh, again, they said two times for the one time. Okay, let's see. Um, What am I looking up? Hold on, y'all. Trying to look up which one of these eyes so we can know if you're in the sun or the moon energy. If you're doing this for all to see or are you doing this behind the scenes? I feel like this is source. I feel like it's the whatever one is the sun. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you this because I can't find it right now. And then source is like, don't become distracted. Just keep going. Basically, what I'm getting for you, Libra, is you connected to the eye of Ra. Okay. And it's that very connection that is illuminating. Your spirituality, your ranking, your position. What's understood don't have to be explained, Libra. Continue to shine your light. You got the Seven of Wands and the Six of Pentacles and this Eight of Wands. So you're very quickly going to be moving into success in the future, near future, okay? Um, source is... Hold on. Oh, Source is giving you, okay, anybody that was doing magic on you, Libra, Source is taking their, their tools, their resources, and he's giving them to you. Yeah, eight cups, they're being returned to you. Ooh. And the oppression is going to be over. Okay, so the magic will be over. And then Source is going to be returning their magician abilities, their magician skills, their mastery um, level. They're going to be returning them to you. So, but it's going to require you to do something um, in the expansion or release of self-love where it's going to bring changes to the whole situation. All of this has been divinely guided to happen. So there's nothing you need to really do, Libra, except just allow, be in the here and now and things like that. Okay. Because there's a greater power that's working on your behalf. What's understood don't have to be explained, Libra. This is beautiful. Sources making them understand. Someone's gaining an understanding, real and true. Why? They're experiencing some type of tower or judgment, okay? It's like the more you release your power, um, the more something's proven harmful to someone else or someone's energy is proven harmful. Um, it's interception energy. Also, you could have been recently watching Finding Nemo or you need to. And then your angels and ancestors are clearing the road or clearing the trash or path, okay? So there's really nothing for you to do except sit pretty and, and wait, okay? Hurry up and wait. All right, Libra, this has been your reading. Real and true. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, share, subscribe. Thank y'all. Bye.